Hey folks, I'm Devane Glory and welcome to part 39 of Napoleon's European campaign, Napoleon Total War. In the last part, uh, this Austrian army attacked Massena and he was able to withdraw across the river and force them to attack him. So it's been pretty badly beaten up. It was a full stack uh, when it attacked us. Um, Massena's army's not in great shape, but we've got some reinforcements coming in here. And Napoleon is now about to attack Vienna, which will then make this our territory, so Massena will get replenishment. So let's not mess about, we'll just come and make this attack straight away. And this army had been a full stack that was defending Vienna. So it cleared out and it's left the way open for Napoleon to come in and... Actually, I'm surprised. I can't just demand a surrender. Uh, but we'll make the assault. And this time, there's no mercy for Austria. We took Vienna before and that knocked them out of the war. But within about two months, they came straight back in again. So this time, we are going to make sure that the Habsburgs never return. Okay, we've got nice high ground up here, but there's something behind the town. We've got high ground here. Well, high-ish. Still not great. In fact, this is where I would rather be, I think. Okay, I think we'll set up uh, to attack from this direction here. Try and pull them out into the open. We might actually angle it so... Right, this is, it's a small army, there's no point in getting too engrossed in it, so um, I'll set up off camera as usual and then I'll bring you guys back. Right, ready to get things going. Um, what I've decided to do, actually, I've got my eight pounders here, just going to move them forward. They can begin lobbing shells over the town into that flank, and I have. Uh, two brigades of infantry over here with a couple of regiments of cav. They're going to advance up on the right flank. In the centre here, we have, what do we have? Yep, so we've got a brigade of infantry with our chasseurs and voltigeurs. They're going to advance up through the woods there. And then we've got three brigades over here that are going to advance up the left. We've got our galloper guns, our horse artillery. Just going to move that further forward. Uh, so the plan is advancing in more strength over in the left, try and push the Austrians back over to the right where the eight pounders can hammer them. Uh, we've got some reserve. Uh, we've also got four regiments of cav over in the left flank to make sure that's a nice strong flank. And then we have a regiment or a brigade in reserve there and another here with our old guard and our grenadier who have been with us right from the start. Uh, not the most experienced units <laughs> because the lack of combat they've seen. Although, nah, yeah, look, there's only one chevron. So that's our setup. Let's go ahead and start the battle. And we'll start with, are they coming towards? No, that's reinforcements coming in. That's right. They had, I think, a regiment that was sitting outside the town. So let's get these guys on the move. Up to about there. And this brigade up there. And our cav. I've run out of groups for all of this. Yeah, I was just going to head out there. Mm 
This infantry will get on the move just now as well. And I want you right up to the edge of that forest. This brigade is going to, well, stay back around here for now. They're reorganising. I don't want to advance on the right flank just now. I want to try and pressurise them, as I said, to move, push them over into that corner. Let's get the guns. They're just going to stay back there. And no, I don't think they'll, they would. They want to advance too far forward. So just put the guns on the forward slope here. That should do it. Do they have calf in there? I thought I saw some fast moving. Yeah, they, there's something. The land. Where's the general? Oh, is it the general's unit? Is there lands? Right. Okay, so uh, you come down into here for now. If they have a regiment of cav around, make sure you screen the guns. And you are probably going to be fine just in there. I don't like what you're doing. Could you try and run away from that cannon before it opens up, just in time? And march down here. Right. Cav. Just make sure they're aware of your presence up here. You push up there. I don't know if they're coming forward or not, but let's push further forward here. They are. Okay, so if they get up onto that high ground there, it'd be a nice target for my guns to shoot at. And probably I should bring this artillery up here. And this uh, brigade back here, you're going to come up to there to protect them. And the other brigade that was going to advance up on the right will bring you across here. And enemy general's dead. Good stuff. He charged in. Stupid him. Killed one man and oh, they're taking friendly fire. Good God, get back. Look at that. Anyway, right. Uh, we have Austrians ahead of us here. So form up. You should be in skirmish mode, you are. Let's just engage them now. Mm -hmm. 
There's still about over here. I should have formed square. Let's do that. Make sure we make an end of them. Let's push it further forward still. And you don't shoot it well. Don't want any more of that friendly fire nonsense. That probably explains a lot of my cavalry casualties in the past. Almost killed them off here already. So you... Um, not like that. Let's have you advance up to there. You up here. We've got more coming in there. Uh, the gun's here just about ready. So if you deploy there, you there. Like so. Let's push you further forward to there. Right, they've run. So you advance. That's fine for you there. You're going to come up this flank. And the cav. Yeah, march up to there. Guns ready. Okay, get into action. Okay. Lots of retreating going on in here. And I'm not going to bother chasing them down, really. I was about to send the cav off after them. But I'll just move you around and behind. Okay, you swing around there. They're running already. I was about to have you charge in on them. But yeah, you actually do that. What have we got? This is uh, Landwehr Garrison here. Archduke Charles. Uh, not him personally. His regiment. Um, so they're still in good shape up there, obviously, because we've not really been engaging them. Let's get our guns here, get you limbered up again, and get you on the move. You advancing in from here.
where's your reserve bank here? Keep coming up, you're in there. So if you actually come in here, okay, back into column you meant. And uh, you are part of that brigade. Right. Okay, uh, where are my guns? I could put the guns up here now. Yeah, a few head up to there and you and there will get this infantry cleared out of your way. You actually come up into the forest there. Okay, and you uh, back in there. Where's your reserve? Here. And it's on the move, that's fine. Let's have this brigade make its way up through here. Move you up to here for now. Let's ungroup the Voltigeurs and Chasseurs from this brigade and yeah okay so you do I want them in there No, I don't think so just now. We'll have you come up in there. Maybe put one of the regiments in there. Right, we're just going to pin them in back here now. I don't know whether the guns can actually reach. Uh, they're coming forward, I think, though, so you're in the best positions. I think I would rather have you slightly further forward. Yeah, I think more like that. You do that and uh, we will get you into action. This looks like some returning regiments up here. Form up there. And you're going to sort of sit back just now as a reserve. Cav, move up there. Not you, you stay put. You're not Cav. Get into action. Okay, you keep pushing up here. I'm probably going to have to go in there. Hopefully the guns are able to sh yeah, able to show for your head. OK. 
Okay, some fusiliers in there. Should be weary of. The new form line. You two. Let's have this brigade now march through to here. And I think now that I see these guys are running, I'll send the cav after them to make sure they don't return. And my cannon over here, are you still in the fight? It doesn't look like it. So let's limber you up. We'll try and maybe bring you in here. And there's lots of breaking going on up there now. So you go after them, you after them, and you after them. Push forward. Where are my uh, skirmishers? Let's get you all the way up through there now. And have this regiment in there. Actually, I don't know where you're going to head up to. I wanted that. Thank you. Right, the cab's done its work back there. Let's have you keep pushing in. You go after them now. Try and avoid the enemy square there. You charge them, you charge the square, limber up our guns because this battle's done. The square's broken, charge them instead. Continue for now. You turn, make sure you hit that garrison. You bring your pals back. To attack them. All right. I think we'll just eliminate them and then we'll end the battle. And Vienna is ours. We only lost 400 men. Now that is incredible. Uh, yeah, well, I suppose they came into some pretty organized fire. This is probably mostly caused by uh, them. 742 kills there. Yeah, okay. Nothing really to brag about. They didn't have the best of armies. But we peacefully occupy once more, and this time we keep it. So how is your... Oh, actually, we'll check the army in a minute. We will repair the barracks and the ordnance factory straight away. 
you can get some good recruitment in here. And infrastructure is fine, but the army. Yep, the army is good enough. Who's this Murat? Yeah. Okay, so Napoleon. You're just going to stay put for now. Yeah. So Davu is advancing in Warsaw. The hesitation here is because I'm thinking about uh, Mecklenburg Strelitz. They declared war on me, or they, well, yeah, I suppose they did declare war. They joined the war against me during the last end turn. We're building up in here. We've got some cannon on the way. And it's uh, 12 pounders. Let's queue up a couple of eight pounders as well. I think we'll leave the, the infantry to the end. Let's get some light infantry. Yeah, let's go with that and we'll get another couple of militia as well. Three? Yeah, let's go for that. And then next turn we'll get some more um, fusilier. Okay. I'm wondering whether I should build a small star fort just to make sure that we stay in good order back here. I probably should build these up too. But we'll get back to that. We're now making 12,700 per turn. And we should make some more. We don't have a building in there, but a it's fine. Uh, once we get a trading port open again. Do I need any more recruits over here? You get space for half a dozen units. We've got four coming in. You've got plenty of cav, you've got pl absolutely plenty of artillery when we're done. We've got plenty of militia. I think you might recruit another couple of regiments of fusiliers to finish off um, Messina's army. I was hoping I could come and attack Peter Alexandrovich Tolstoy, but I don't think I can reach there. I'm going to give Messina's army a time a turn to recover. Let's see, can you yeah, you can both reach, no problem. Let's get you into the army. We'll bring you up to Prague. Just because that army's hanging about. And you might actually head back up here. It wouldn't take too long just to take care of them. Okay, done. Research. Uh, yeah, so 
and searching everything that we can here. I'm building a drill skill. Or we've got a drill skill. Do we not? Oh no, it's Barracks and Ordnance Factory. Yeah, so I'm building the drill school in here. We've got the great arsenal. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So, yeah, we'll uh, be done soon in Magdeburg. But how many tons is it? Eight tons. We're going to run out of stuff to research. I thought I had a factory as well. Um, anyway, getting distracted here. Let's check out quickly the map. Yeah, so Austria doesn't have much at all left. Prussia the same. They were a small buffer between us and the Russian Empire. I wonder um, if we could get peace with any of these guys. I don't think it could. Denmark and Norway. Uh, would you like it? No, you couldn't get an alliance. All right. So I'm going to put a break in here. And when we go back in the next part, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really want to push on, but I'm also tempted to come back and take Milan. That army's not going to sit there indefinitely. But if I take the foot off the gas over here, it just encourages the Austrians to go back. I think I'm going to just clear out Zagreb and Budapest. Um, go and knock out Mecklenburg, Strelitz. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And that would at least free up this army if we've taken them out this army could come and deal with the Russians okay but as I said I'm going to put in a break so thanks very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this please leave me a comment rate the video subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and I hope to see you again next time cheers